Hi guys and welcome back to Sam's Disney Life. Today I want to do something completely different and I want to share with you something what's impacted me my whole life. As I've told you in my last weekly vlog that I was so close to completing my level three in childcare and I'm so happy to say that I've completed it now but I want to share with you why I decided to go back in education at such a late time in my life. So let's get started. So guys, I thought I would tell you this now because I want you to get to know me as a person and somebody you'll be able to maybe get some advice for from Disney trips and just enjoying my channel in itself for all the things I do on it but this one I especially want to make it about getting to know me a little bit more. So straight from school I went into college and I did catering. I didn't enjoy it. I was kind of pushed to go for catering because I was in two minds of what I wanted to do. I just left school and I really didn't know what I wanted in life. So I went for catering, I was there for two years and then I came out of college and then I went into elderly care. And then I was doing that and then I become to be a mum. And from then I never went back into education until I was 29 years old. And you're probably thinking why did I leave it so late? Why did I not try and do what I wanted to do in the first place? And to be honest I didn't want to do childcare when I was only 17. I didn't know what I wanted at that age. But then when I had my own children and then my twins went to school themselves I wanted to do something for myself I just didn't want to be roaming around the house doing any, nothing so I decided that I would go back to college this was a massive step for me and the reason being is because I suffer from a learning disability and this learning disability is called dyslexia and there's all different degrees on dyslexic. You can just have it mild, so you just struggle to read and spell slightly, and you just need a little bit more time to read and stuff like that. Um, but unfortunately, I've got it on the severely side. So when it comes to reading letters, um, doing forms, things like that, I have to have help from my husband. He does all of that kind of thing. Uh, you're probably wondering how you've not noticed this. Um, basically, when I do my Erin Condren planning and stuff like that, on a regular day, I would put it so I can understand it myself. But when I'm showing you guys, I will have it all written down from my iPad and that has got voice recognition on it and it spells everything out for me and I just have to copy it when I'm showing you guys my planning with my Erin Condren. So yes, you bet you're wondering, wow, how has she kept that from us? But I want to get it out there now because dyslexia has been a massive part in my life, all my life, and it's stopped me in so many ways and it stopped me definitely on going further in any kind of goals I want to do, any kind of educational side to it, or any careers. It stopped me in so many ways. Partially because the big world don't really understand dyslexia as much as what dyslexic people would like. When I decided to go back to college at 29 years old, I thought to myself, how am I going to do this? How am I going to achieve what I want to achieve if I can't read or spell and do certain documentation and all that kind of stuff? And I just thought to myself, if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. I'm still going to be this person in another 15, 20 years time with the same kind of problems and not achieved any qualifications and that's what I wanted to do so much. So I applied to go to college and then that's when it all started and it happened very quickly. I started with my level two childcare and at first I was put off by it. I had a lot of people say to me, 
you won't be able to do it. Even if you do achieve your qualification, then you won't be able to get a job in it because you ca you can't do filing, you can't you can't do this and you can't do that because you can't read and spell. And at first, I was really put off. I was heartbroken. I just wanted to curl up into a little ball. Um, but I didn't let this phase me, and I still went to college every Thursday, and and I did that work. The only way I was able to achieve it is by having my voice recognition on my phone, on my MacBook, and if I'm having to do paperwork, I say it and my MacBook will spell it out for me. And that was the only way I was able to achieve my level two and my level three in childcare. So I went on to my level three and as I've just told you, I've completed my level three now. But what I'm trying to get on all of this, I suppose, is to just tell you if you are dyslexic and you have people putting you down and they think you won't be able to do it, don't listen to them because you can achieve what you believe you can achieve. Do not let anyone put you off on what you are wanting to do. I let that happen for 29 years of my life and I will not let anyone tell me that I can't do something because of my disability, because you can and I'm a living proof of that. So now I've got my qualifications, I know I've struggled to find an employer to employ me because of my disability but don't give up i'm not gonna give up because there will be somebody out there who's willing to take you on it could be in a year's time it could be in five years time but somebody will take you on so guys i just wanted to put that out there that i am dyslexic obviously it doesn't change anything with my channel but i just wanted you to get to know me more and i wanted you to be involved in the channel and be able to relate to me a little bit more. So yes, I just thought I'd get that out there. So guys, that's the serious stuff over and done with. So guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you enjoyed it too. I do lots of content about Disney, Disney planning, home life, family life, and I want to introduce this as well because this is a part of me and I want you to follow on my journey and hopefully if you are suffering with dyslexia that I can give you a little bit of support or or just a helping hand that you are not on your own out there. So if you did like this and you want to continue watching on my journey please give it a subscribe and click that little bell icon and you will not miss any other content I put out there. Thank you for watching.